Hello and welcome. This is Bacon Bits. If you're new here, I'm glad you're tuning in today. And if you're a returning teacher, welcome back. My name is Amanda Kelly and I'm the Dean of Instructional Technology. Many people ask, what is instructional technology? Instructional technology is the design, development, use, management, and evaluation of technology in education. My role is to help guide and train you on technology integration in your classroom. So whether you're still trying to figure out where the power button is on your computer or a Google certified educator, I'm here to help you with technology integration at your level and set and achieve your personal goals. Additionally, every Tuesday, I release a new episode of Bacon Bits. Bacon Bits are a series of mini trainings designed with your busy schedule in mind. Bacon Bits provide technology integration support and tips for your classroom. Each bit should take you no more than 30 minutes to complete with a short instructional video, a try it, and then a quiz at the end. This year, I have some great things planned, including organization help, Google Classroom and grading tips, Excel basics, extensions for Google Sheets to help with data, and lots of new and exciting digital resources. Some frequently asked questions that I get are, what if I don't have time this week to watch the episode? Can I watch it later? And the answer is yes. Every episode in the series, including the ones from last year, are available to watch on the Bacon Bits website. I have reorganized the website this year so that you can view old episodes in one of two ways. You can watch the episodes in order that they were released, or you can look for specific topics you want to learn more about and view episodes about that topic. Another question is, what if I don't pass the quiz? And my answer is, that's okay. The quiz serves as two main purposes. One is to act as a digital sign-in sheet so that you get credit for the training. Each bit is a half hour of digital literacy professional development, and at the end of the year, I will sum up how many you complete for you and turn them into our beginning teacher coordinator. The second purpose is an evaluation tool for you and for me. You don't have to retake the quiz if you miss a question to get the training credits. Use the results as a way to evaluate if you got a firm enough grasp on the concept or if there are some important steps that you're missing. It also helps me to evaluate to see if there are steps that I am missing in the delivery. Finally, today I'm leaving you with some technology tips to help get you started this school year. Tip number one, start small. Whether you have big ideas of how you want to incorporate Google tools into your daily instruction or you're just using Google Classroom for the first time, my recommendation is to start small. Try out your ideas with just a few students or maybe just one core before expanding to the whole class or the whole day. This will give you time to evaluate your plan and implementation and ensure optimal success. Tip number two, find balance. Last year we went from 0 to 60 in the technology department where by the end of the year everything was online, on a Chromebook, or on a Zoom. And while that served its purpose in reaching all of our students during a worldwide pandemic on a normal day-to-day -day basis, there is such a thing as too much screen time. Keep your lessons balanced and stop to check that the technology is a tool and not the teacher. Finally, tip number three, be intentional. Make sure that when you're pulling out devices or incorporating a digital tool into your instruction that it's there to help support an instructional goal and not just be included to check a box. Today, for your try it, I would like for you to hop over to the Bacon Bits website and peruse the previous bits tab before taking today's quiz. In your quiz today, you will find some questions that help me get a better understanding of your technology comfort levels and starting points, as well as what types of tools you want to learn more about. Don't forget to sign up for an appointment if you're needing help getting started with your classroom technology, and I'll see you next week.